website in the success stories area, we have what's called reduced charges. Now, what does that mean? Well, in one case we had uh, was a double manslaughter, triple aggravated assault, and double endangerment. It had to do with a young lady who was driving on Shea Boulevard, and they claimed that she was going 21 to 25 miles over the limit, although she had no drugs or alcohol in her system. Um, she went off, lost control, and shot across the median and struck another car, killing two people. Originally, they wanted to put her in prison for 8 to 12 years. We then negotiated and got it down to four to six years and eventually we got it all the way down to probation with two years in jail that involved work release. Now there are some other factors in the case that weren't promising and this young lady did not want to go to trial. But by pleading and doing what was called work release, she could go to work every day and then she went and did uh, time at the jail at night. And keep in mind this was for a double homicide. Uh, I would have loved to have gone to trial on this case. I felt I could have won it, but I respected her decisions and she took the lowest possible plea we could get her. But that is a reduced charge. Now on regular DUIs, you'll hear what's called the extreme DUI. That's where somebody is a 1-5 blood alcohol or higher and they're facing 30 days or super extreme 45 days on a first offense. And many times we get that reduced to a first offense DUI with one day in jail. So it's important to have a lawyer who knows how to reduce charges if you're not willing to fight it all the way to trial, but how to reduce it to something you can live with. If that's you, contact us.